hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide how to install the windows 7 on any machine so you need to have bootable pen drive or the dvd for that so i have already made the bootable pen drive of windows 7 and this is my bootable pen drive so i need to insert on here and we need to restart our windows so you need to have the knowledge of bootable key on your windows in the dell laptop the bootable key will be f12 key or the bios key will be f2 key in the hp the escape key as well as in the f9 or f10 key okay so i have knowledge if you don't have the knowledge about the bootable key so if you are using uefi i mean you are using the uefi systems so you can go with this option as well system and go to recovery and go to advanced options then simply restart your windows if you are downgrading the windows 10 to windows 7 or windows 7 to windows 11 to 7 now you should be able to see the windows here troubleshoot advanced and uefi firmware settings but if you don't have this uefi firmware settings you have to use the bootable key as you can see here boot sequence i can go to here so once you shut down your computer you need to press f12 key on the dell laptop and accordingly look for your manufacturer and from this menu we need to select the flash drive here USB storage drive, I need to select that. Now once I selected that, window is loading and we are going to install the Windows 7 on it. Make sure to select that option under the legacy option, okay. UEFI is not selected and not supported in Windows 7. Now once you see this screen, we need to select here simply next option and click on install now now select your edition here i am selecting here professional so we can select whatever you like i am going to select professional then click on next accept terms and conditions click on next choose the custom and this is very important part guys if you want to delete all the partitions here you just need to select that and simply you need to delete that okay click on this option advanced one and simply delete it and also I'm going to delete this as well and this my this was my C drive but I also want to delete this and i need to only keep this d drive i'm not going to delete this one d drive and unallocated space i have made it now let me delete delete okay once you have deleted all the partitions here i haven't deleted the new volume 1 1 that is d drive i am going to install into c drive that is 143 gb so once you have selected your drive then you need to click on create option here and simply click on apply and click on ok and now you should be able to see the this drive here so I got an error and that is showing that windows cannot be installed to this disk the selected disk is gpt partition so we have to select this disk as a mbr partition okay so you need to press shift and f10 key on your keyboard shift and f10 key this is the shift and f10 and now you should be able to open the command prompt once you press shift and f10 key 
and we need to delete the partition here all the data will be lost from your disk you are not able to save any files from your disk complete windows we are going to install so we are going into the disk part so type for disk part now list disk disk now it is showing two disk here this is my usb one and disk zero is my ssd now we need to select disk zero here all the data will be lost from your disk zero okay and just select here clean type here clean and succeeded now error should not be coming anymore close this and go back here even you can close it from here but i should recommend to go back go back select again the same stumption conditions again and you can see it should be highlighted here now click on next option here and windows 7 is going to install on this disk i was thinking to keep my some data from d drive but error was coming so i have to format all the disk so we have to wait here until it goes to all the four steps now it's almost done so you can remove your pen drive now and click on restart option here or it will be restarted automatically so we can remove our pen drive otherwise it will boot from this now window will load automatically set up a checking video performance now here is the username which you are going to give it to the username so i am giving it to the as dell and type the computer name is dell hyphen dc then click on next now the password so you can create your own password and once you reconfirm the password you need to password hint is also required so we have to select here password hint and then click on next now product key if you want to enter here you can enter it otherwise you can select automatically activated when i am online or even I'm, i can skip this option as well just select here use recommended setting if you have enough data and it will install the important updates like drivers and all the things if you don't want to do that you can select the this option install important updates only choose here the correct language correct time here according to your zone i am going to select here this option and time is automatically selected but you can select that next and now windows 7 professional is going to install you should able to see welcome screen now we have successfully installed the windows 7 so if the internet options are not working then you need to install the driver of it or you can use your ethernet cable on it so that was all about for installation of windows 7 so i hope guys this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching